At Stadium High School, they had some personal stories. They shared some passionate speeches, uh, talking about ideas on how they can improve the situation for young people in Tacoma, both in the classroom and out on the streets. They filled the courtyard outside Tacoma Stadium High School. Educators, lawmakers, community members calling for change. Black history is American history, and it should be in our curriculums and taught as such. Teachers told the crowd that for too long, the education system hasn't done enough to help students of color. So if there's something going wrong, speak up. Don't be afraid. Have the faith to stand up. Wrong is wrong. Speakers talked about several issues, including a lack of diversity in hiring at schools and policies that impact black students disproportionately. Dismantle zero tolerance policy that directly supports school to prison pipeline. Stop suspending our kids for horse playing. Stop suspending our kids for being late. The group left the school marching toward Wright Park. Congressman Derek Kilmer was among those walking. We asked whether lawmakers are going to use these events to push for changes in law. Kilmer said he expects members of Congress to vote on a police reform package within a month. Improving training, uh, trying to drive greater accountability, uh, doing things like um, banning the use of chokeholds and the transfer of, uh, of equipment that was made for really military action, not for use on uh, peaceful protesters in our in our communities. Kilmer says he's also proposed a law that requires black history be taught as part of every school's basic curriculum. While they push for broader change, Whitney Scott says there's plenty people can do on their own. You don't know what you don't know, so if you don't know it, you can't change. So um, educate yourself and talk to people that don't think the same as you do so you can learn something. And the event wrapped up this afternoon here at Wright Park where they had some speakers and some music. The deputy mayor spoke with the crowd at the high school. He said he's really grateful for the way that Tacoma has dealt with these issues. He believes they've had a very thoughtful approach and it will lead to some changes. We're live tonight in Tacoma. Amy Marino, King 5 News.